system recently launched on Facebook that brings console quality games to the social giant. Gaikai, which is a cloud gaming system, rolled off the beta version of its Facebook app in hopes of taking gaming within the social network to a new level. And through Gaikai, video game publishers will now be able to potentially reach hundreds of millions of new gamers. And to find out more about this exciting new development, we're going to bring in David Perry, the CEO of Gaikai. Thanks for joining us today, David. Hey there, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Very good. Good. Well, for starters, can you just tell us what cloud gaming is and really what makes it different from other gaming systems? I think one of the things that we're realizing is that over time, people, uh, people value their time a lot. So, you know, you're seeing the most successful games tending to be the things that are very easy to access. Facebook games are very successful now. <laughs> iPhone games, you just click them and you have them right away on your phone. Right. Video games aren't the same. They're... There's sort of a commitment. If you're going to play a game and you hit the download button, you're going to be waiting 40 minutes or so to get that. And that's just not the same as movies and music. And so if we want to compete with movies and music, everywhere you see a Netflix icon, there has to be the best video games in the world right beside it. And that's kind of been the whole goal of cloud gaming, which is if we, if we can get to a position where, like the movies are all in the cloud, all the video games are in the cloud, and when you hit a button, they just appear on your screen, if that was possible, then we can take on movies and music much more aggressively and, um, and put the best games right at people's fingertips. Facebook is obviously a, a huge audience, tons of people sitting on the web mm -hmm. all day playing little flash games. Can you imagine if a game like, um, I don't know, something like Mass Effect 3 or, mm -hmm. or Call of Duty or World of Warcraft appeared instantly in Facebook? Mm -hmm. That could fundamentally change you know, what people perceive to be a, a casual game or a game that they can get at casually. Absolutely. Well, let's get more into this um, Facebook app and really tell us what, what it will bring to, to both gamers and um, users. I think the main thing is just, you know, you're playing through normal Flash games. Um, like, say, for example, if you were to try to play a Flash soccer game, I can't even imagine how bad that would look. <laughs> um, but someone would sit there and try to play it because that's the only Flash soccer game. And if we can put FIFA Soccer 2012 loading at the same speed as that Flash game, like it appears almost instantly, um, I don't know if anyone's ever going to be able to go back. That's, that's my expectation. It's going to be really, really hard to go back to the old like 2D right. soccer game when you just played the real thing. Well, what is it that, that really sets Gaikai apart for, from other cloud gaming providers? And particularly, how does the, this Facebook integration further distinguish it? Well, the big difference with us is that we're, we're web browser based, so our, our, our actual experiences appear inside. So they're not, it's not, we, we don't, on Facebook, we don't tell you to go somewhere to play the games. The game is actually inside the Facebook web page. So, like in the canvas area, if you scale your, your Facebook browser, you'll see the game scale as well. So it's actually really there. And, um, and that means we're truly built in. And when you build it in, um, then people aren't having to leave Facebook. And they don't, it's funny, people don't like to leave Facebook. I think that's one of the reasons that Facebook games work so well is because they're in that, in that ecosystem and they like to stay there. Absolutely. Well, can, can you talk a little bit about the games that are available through the Facebook app? Yeah, we put a few. Uh, we put a few different games. We put a funny one as well. We put a farming simulator, <laughs> which is like a three. You get to drive tractors around a farm and everything, and we just did that as a joke, really, just to have fun. But um, we also have um, uh, games like Sniper, which is a very, a very high end, very, very high end game appearing. Um, and the idea is to give that jarring effect, and that's that's what we're seeing from users when they write to us. They're like, you know, what is this magic? How is this possible? Because they don't, we, when we started this company, we thought we were going to have to explain to everyone about games running on servers in the cloud and all this kind of thing. And then we realized, let's, let's just not bother. They don't, they don't care. They just right. want to play the game. So, right. so when they hit the button and something big appears, it's quite shocking to them. And, and no one ever explained why. That's very interesting. Well, the model that the game currently uses um, is basically to allow gamers to play for, for a certain period of time, and then after that period is over, then Gaikai asks for, for a payment to, to download. So how really are gamers responding to this model? Well, what happened is we ran a survey of 20,000 gamers, and we asked them, um, a very simple question, which is what motivates you the most to buy video games? Mm -hmm. And the response was, number one choice was, was game demos. 
But all the money today is being spent on the things at the bottom of the list for things like TV commercials. It turns out TV commercials are great to get the brand out, but they're not great to get you to decide to buy something. And so we looked at other survey data and everything we looked at, no matter what way we word it, it's always, I'd like to try it, please. <laughs> so I get that. I'm the same. Like, can I just try it? Yeah. And then I'll tell you if I like it or not. So mm -hmm. that's basically what the whole company's built around. And then from that point, yes, we will offer you the ability to continue playing. It makes it makes perfect sense. Well, as you said, Gaikai's goal is to really make games as accessible as music and, and movies. So how do you intend to further do this? Well, the other way to do it is is we have to I mean web browsers are great, so mm -hmm. we have to cover as many websites as we can and we've been doing that. But now we're also going into um devices like digital televisions and so we announced a partnership with LG at CES this year and you could come up and play Street Fighter on a television and it's pretty neat to walk up to a TV with no console that, that's now suddenly be able to play games like Street Fighter and the CEO of the company told everyone just before the show by the way, everything has to be in stereoscopic 3D. So, you know, use 3D glasses. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and we had to get that working just in time for the show, and we did. Yeah. But that, that's pretty crazy to think that all of the games are playing at the highest level in mm -hmm. stereoscopic 3D on a TV without any console or any extra cost whatsoever. Wow. Well, it's clear that, that all cloud-based technology is growing in value. But in terms of cloud gaming systems specifically, do you see uh, physical media-based consoles becoming less significant over time? Well, there's no question is physical media going to go away. Um, and the reason is, is because of convenience and price. And, and that's ultimately, you always got to, if you put the gamer first and think what's best for them, usually that will lead you down the right path. And, um, and convenience and price are very important to them, and quality, of course. But um, So I see it as something that will... Uh, uh, retail is without... Uh, I spent the weekend with retailers, and they, they were absolutely... Uh, they, they, they don't fight this at all. They completely accept that retail, the physical version of it, is going to go away. It's just it's going to take a while because it's, nothing ever happens quickly. But um, I think cloud gaming is more of a... Um, more of an add-on if you think about it it's 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 a new way to discover things it's a way to get into games really quickly mm -hmm. and then as retail slowly moves to digital um, then I think this will be a key part of where it all ends up all right David it's fascinating and we look forward to seeing more from Gaikai thank you so much for talking with us today oh, thank you very much you're very welcome and for more information on Gaikai's Facebook beta launch visit apps.facebook.com forward slash Gaikai hyphen games I'm Abby Johnson reporting for WebPro News <laughs>